Hello everyone, I'm Thomas and welcome to my channel where I educate people on IoT and web development by showing how to build projects step by step. Today the video is gonna be a bit different because I'll be talking about a failure specifically on how I failed my 100 days of code in IoT video challenge and I also give you a quick update on a channel future but don't worry I'm not closing it, I'm not deleting any videos it's just that I won't be able to upload videos on a daily basis anymore. But yeah, first, let's get straight to the point on how I failed the challenge. Essentially, there are two main reasons. Well, the first one is my inability to make a single video a day, right? And the keyword here is make, uh, not upload, right? So, you know, the goal from the day zero that I set for myself was to uh, upload a video a day and uh, I also gave myself some sort of a head start right when I was starting the challenge I I was very new to this I didn't know how to make good videos how to edit them properly and how to do all the stuff around the video and so on so what I've decided to do is to create some videos beforehand right to give myself a head start and by the time the last video that I created beforehand is out, is published, I will be able to make a single video a day. And you know, at the beginning actually, I mean, it wasn't at the beginning, but you know, after uh, some time, to, after a few videos out, I actually uh, got there, got to the point where I was able to make a video a day. There was even a day where I made two videos a day. But the problem with that is that I cannot make it sustainable. Um, I cannot make it sustainable without burning myself out, without running out of ideas, right? As you know, creativity is a limited resource. And uh, also, if you focus just on one thing and you spend your entire time, like 95% of time of my waking hours, uh, spending on creating videos, editing videos, thinking about videos, thinking about like in the future, right? What hardware components should I buy and so on. Um, and doing it like every single day, uh, weekdays, weekends, that led me to almost experiencing a burnout. A burnout, something that I experienced in the past uh, on something else though. But, uh, you know, the moment I felt... I'm gonna burn myself out. I thought, no, I should stop. I should stop because I wanna keep doing this Internet of Things uh, content. And, uh, you know, if I had experienced uh, burnout, I would have hated it uh, by now, right? Making these videos on this specific subject. And that was something I wanted to avoid. So I decided to stop, right? So that was the first reason, almost experiencing a burnout. And as I said, I'm not able to, 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 to make a video a day in a sustainable way, right? And, you know, given these conditions, uh, this 100 days of code challenge doesn't really make sense, right? Because uh, the rules of the challenge are clear. You are supposed to, um, you know, it's just, a, it's actually, it says about code, right? You, you are supposed to code for one hour a day. And you can only take uh, you can only take a, a one day break, right? So I cannot sustain that. I mean, you know, I, I can code an hour a day. I still do it, like even without the challenge. But the problem is uh, with the video itself. Okay, it's with the video itself. Other thing is I don't want to decrease the quality of the videos. I would like to actually uh, make the videos even better, have even better quality. I would like the projects to be more interesting, so um, so 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 that's why I'm deciding here to to change the, the frequency of uploading the videos. Okay, so yeah, so that's the so that's the first reason, but that's not that's not all. There is a second reason, also very important, and that reason is on uh, really like uh, helping myself, uh, or like documenting my journey versus helping others. Okay, uh, so yeah, let me explain that because like, you know, as for today, most of the videos I uploaded from this challenge 
they more like um, documentation of my journey. They more like uh, helping myself to grow, uh, learning a new subject that is Internet of Things. And you know what? That's something I would like to change because that was not something I expected. That's not something I w would like for my channel to be. I would like to uh, also help uh, other people, not just myself. And uh, uh, with the videos I have right now, I would say this: pro if if you put the if you put it in the proportions, uh, it's like ten or twenty percent of my time uh, spent on the channel, right? So. 10-20% of the content I've got on my channel are actually helping others, right? You can get something from that, from that, from that content. And the rest, which is 80-90%, is more like a documentation of my journey with IoT. And that's something I would like to invert. That's something I would like to invert. Um, I did a, an experiment on that, actually. I created a, a blog post on a serverless... Uh, something I specialize with and the reception of that was much much better there is like a, a huge interest in uh, like anything related to web development and uh, building scalable uh, solutions fast in the cloud right in technologies like uh, Node.js uh, or TypeScript or JavaScript and because I have a lot of experience with that I think like sharing this knowledge is going to be uh, like better for everyone in the long term. So, so I'm gonna shift my focus a little bit uh, towards making web development stuff, like making videos about web development. And that's gonna be the main focus of the channel, right? To like share my knowledge, um, to, to teach people how to build projects step by step, again, like in the cloud, um, ready to be scaled and uh, at the low cost, at the low cost fast, right? With the modern technologies. But also I would like to keep this IoT content coming, right? So IoT part of the channel right now is going to be set to long term, right? So I'm, I'm still, I st I'm still on the mission to build a bridge between embedded programming and web development, but that's gonna become a very long term goal. And at the moment, with the actual videos that I'm planning to, uh, to make and upload, I'm going to use Internet of Things as a spark of an inspiration. So I would like this project to be uh, more interesting, more cool. Um, and I would like them to, to inspire others. And at the same time, I'm going to focus on web development. So that's going to be more frequent content uploaded on the channel uh, to help uh, other people to show how quickly you can put something on prod that is working, put a software as a service, implement it, deploy it, test it, put it out there uh, behind the domain, right? All of this fast, because it looks like there is a huge demand on this, this, sort, of, this sort of knowledge on the market at the moment. So I'm gonna just pursue this and uh, and still keep doing IoT, but less frequently. And yeah, these are the reasons why I, I'm not gonna continue on this particular challenge anymore. And uh, yeah, uh, to all my subscribers and people watching this video, please let me know in the comments, what do you think about my decision? Do you support it or do you have any concerns? And uh, yeah, in case you support it and you're looking forward to uh, the content I'm going to create and upload on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you will be first in line to get notified about any new updates. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.